Good morning, folks. We'll watch some activity on the sun, take a look at upcoming cold, review pre-seismic signals and where you can learn more, and we'll see one of the effects of the 6,000-year half harmonic of Earth's disaster cycle. But we are starting with our star, and you may have already noticed a bit of activity. In addition to having the coronal holes crossing the central heliographic longitudes over the last few hours, we can now see that the brightness of the new active regions has crested into view on the left. The departing spots on the south, bottom right, still have a bit of juice and are surging a bit of plasma, and the same can be said for the developed spots incoming on the north, top left. In 304 angstroms, you'll first see bottom right activity at the active region, and afterwards, one of the surges top left at the new active region. C-class flaring only, but with every reason to continue closely monitoring these new sunspots, coronal whole solar wind has a chance to enhance geospace conditions in two to three days, but that is expected to be minor. Folks, as cold as it is in some places, a major Arctic blast is on the way even stronger than this last one. Pulling the temperature forecast for the 22nd, we see sub-freezing temperatures reaching down into Mexico. There's one day where here in Colorado Springs we're expected to have a high temperature of 3 degrees Fahrenheit, a low of negative 9. This will shift eastward for Christmas and continue the wintry conditions across the eastern half of the country. Excellent article here showing the pre-seismic conditions giving away big earthquakes before they happen. From land temperature, air temperature, humidity, radiation, and Earth's magnetic field anomalies, about 80% of the known pre-earthquake signals actually shown for just one event. Learn about all of the pre-earthquake signals in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, which by the way is newly restocked in our online store. Lastly, on the article front, we know that the Middle East and Africa get very rainy during Heinrich events, and it turns out they're stealing that precipitation from the Indo-Pacific region. The ENSO connections prevalent during Heinrich events are studied here on millennial scales, and it's a great reminder of the severity of the 6,000-year Heinrich cycle for planetary conditions. The 6,000 and 12,000-year cycle events are the timelines for Earth's major catastrophe cycles, and we have two books dedicated to those, The Next End of the World and the 2022 Observer Supplement. And speaking of the ongoing reset of the disaster condition, we continued the everyday second videos again last night. If you aren't catching them, you are missing key insights every single afternoon, not to mention some of the cool shirts I wear every once in a while. We greatly appreciate your support. Catch up on those afternoon videos, grab our books in the online store listed below the video, check out the links to our other resources as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.